All right, we'll get started with South Carolina here. We, we will have an opening statement uh, from Coach Kingston and then have questions for the student athletes, and then uh, we will dismiss them and have questions for Coach Kingston. Coach, go ahead. Well, I thought today was a flip of last night. Uh, we did a better job today of not giving out free passes, and they gave us some, and, and that was the difference of the ball game. So um, I think that's why we won. Uh, we didn't play our best game defensively, but we overcame it. Uh, guys picked each other up all game, and that's kind of what we've become as a team. And uh, happy with the win, uh, but now we're 100% focused on tomorrow. Questions for the student athletes? Raise your hand, and we'll get a microphone to you. LT, uh, obviously the, the slam was the big hit in the game. What did you go up there expecting, and, and what did you see? Um, yeah, I knew he was going to throw some off-speed pitches in the at-bat. Uh, I didn't know he was going to – I think he started me with a fastball right over the plate and kind of caught me by surprise. Um, but I just stayed on the fastball the next pitch and uh, knew that if he made a mistake, you know, I could adjust to it. And uh, he left the breaking ball over the plate, and I got – you know, I didn't think I hit it out. I just knew I got some good backspin on it, and it, you know, fortunate to carry out of the park. LT, just kind of maybe describe the surge of adrenaline and emotion when you saw the ball clear the wall. And I'm guessing, obviously, the, the biggest hit of your life so far. Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, I was, I kind of blacked out whenever I was around on the bases. I don't even remember what happened. But, you know, this is, this is what I've been waiting my whole life for, to play in this moment. That's why I came to South Carolina. And, um, you know, now we're one game away. So it's tomorrow's what we're focused on now. Big hits, but did you come in after I guess a stressful week with the draft with any kind of chip on your shoulder? And how did it feel to see those balls drop, especially early? Um, just trying to put good swings on the ball, it, not trying to think about the draft at all. I mean, we're focused on winning ball games and, and getting on to the next level. Um, so I really wasn't focused on that, just trying to put good swings on baseballs. In the back, uh, this is for Justin. How big was it for you to get that hit early, score the first run of the game, just kind of take that early lead, just like you guys did yesterday? Um, it always feels good to jump out on a team like that. I mean, Arkansas is a great team, uh, up and down, you know, pitching staff, hitting. And, and if you can jump out uh, on them, it's a good feeling going in, and especially in the first inning. Justin, what happened on that play at second base, and how was your hand or wrist? Uh, it's fine. It's just a natural baseball play, you know, guy trying to throw somebody out, guy sliding in. Um, just jammed it a little bit, but it's fine. It feels good. Yeah, I mean, this is for, for Justin LT. You know, Arkansas is 33 and 4 here. You guys have two of those wins. You were the last team to beat them. Now you've ended their winning streak here. Just um, what do you think about that? And how confident are you guys, you know, playing here tomorrow when they, they haven't lost the you know, SEC series at home all year? Um, yeah, I mean, I think we had confidence regardless of their record. Um, you know, we don't even really look at that stuff. So we're just trying to focus each game. And, um, you know, but I thought we've matched up with them well all year, despite only winning two of the games so far. Um, but yeah, I mean, we, we know we have a lot of confidence in ourselves, and we always have rebounded from stuff. So tomorrow, we're going to have the same kind of mindset and come out trying to win the game. Innings today, just how did you feel as your outing went on, and what do you feel like you did well against a pretty good offensive lineup? Um, well, against that lineup, you kind of have to change it up um, second time through. Um, so I think I did a good job early of going away a little bit, and then that way later in the game I could go in. Um, it's a really good lineup, so you got to, like I said, you got to change things up on them. Um, and I just kind of let my adrenaline take over. I usually go shorter, um, but you know, the adrenaline just took over, and kind of that's just what happened. But I'm back. Uh, this is for our, all three of you guys, if you don't mind. What does it mean to you guys to have the opportunity to play game three tomorrow and be just one win away from Omaha? Yeah, I mean, like I said earlier, this is what we've you know, waited our whole lives for. I think everybody would say the same thing. That's why we came to South Carolina. Um, most of us were getting recruited whenever they won the back-to-back -back national championships. And you know, I know personally that's why I wanted to come here, to be a part of something like that. And you know, now that we're here and we have 27 more outs before we can get there. It's it's big, and you know, I'm sure it'll be tough to sleep tonight. But tomorrow, when we get to the field, it's going to be another baseball game, and we're going to play just the way we have all year. We've, you know, from the first day of fall practice, we talked about getting to Omaha and everything that it was going to take to get there, and so it's, we're just going to go out there and play our game. We we know we're prepared for it. Late in the game, uh, they, they did get some good swings and hit some homers, but they were also 0 for 9 with runners in scoring position. Uh, going into the game, did you know that they had not been doing so well once guys got to second base? Um, no, not really. I don't really pay attention to stuff like that. Um, you know, I'm a different pitcher than, than most guys, so 
you know, I just kind of go out there and, and go to stick to my game plan. Um, you know, I just made pitches when, when they need to be made. Um, yeah, I think Kerr's that good. You know, he just put a good swing on it, 3-2. He'd, he'd seen probably seven pitches, so he, he got a good look at what I was throwing. So just a mistake, and he hit it a long way. I'll tell you, you, you hit a home run off these guys in Hoover and two more this weekend. How confident were you coming into this season, this series, and did the home run in Hoover have anything to do with that? Um, not not really. Uh, I try to go game by game. Obviously, you know when you when you're having success at the plate, it, it boosts your confidence, and everybody knows when you have confidence hitting, you know the ball seems a little bit bigger, and everything seems to slow down for you a little bit. But no, I mean I've tried to keep the same approach all year, and um, especially today, just with guys, you know, on third base with less than two outs, I'm trying to put the ball in the outfield. And like I said, I was just fortunate to get it out of there. I really didn't think I hit it out at first, but. Um, I guess I get some backspin on or something. Grant? Sorry, you mentioned this is a longer outing than usual. Are you ready to get the ball tomorrow if, you, if they need you? Oh, I'll go nine if they need me. I don't care. So, yeah. <laughs> Any more questions for the student athletes? Uh, for Justin, just what's allowed you to stay so locked in and uh, on fire this postseason, not just the series, but you know, in the, going back to the regional as well? Um, just being prepared. I mean, we, we do so much in practice and everything that you're just, you're, I mean, forced to be locked in all the time. Um, and, and that's a tribute to our coaching staff and the way our, our players play. And, um, you know, just trying to stay hot, trying to do what I can for the team, and, and it's working out right now. In the back. This is just because I didn't get Justin and Sawyer's thoughts. Just how excited are you about playing game three tomorrow? Um, yeah, from where we started, it's just there's a lot of emotions. Um, you know, we got a lot of seniors on this team that you know we're we're all appreciative of, and you know, so it's it's going to be an emotional game tomorrow. But you know, as soon as we won today, everybody just kind of flipped the script, and it's, it's just you're excited, you know, because you're you're one step closer. And um, you know, early in the year. A lot of us were, were pretty down about, about where we are, and then we kind of picked ourselves up middle of the year, started getting it rolling, and, and now we're a whole different team. And so we're just going to take the confidence from today into tomorrow and see what happens. Yeah, just going off of that, just being excited. You know, we're, we're excited to be here, um, but that's not all we want. We just don't want to be here. We want, we want to get to the next, to the next point. Um, and that's what we've been working on, like LT said, since day one of fall practice. It's the first thing in our minds. Um, when you're recruited here, it's what you expect. I mean, the, the history here is, is phenomenal. and. You just want to keep writing that and, and be a part of it. Any more questions for the student athletes? Gentlemen, thanks for your time. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we'll take questions for Coach Kingston. We'll start right here. Uh, who are you looking at to pitch tomorrow? Would it be Carmen or Logan? And then how do you feel about your bullpen and its depth after having to kind of extend it today? Uh, yes and good. We'll look at one of those guys. Um, once again, we'll look at matchups. We'll, we'll make a decision based on what we think gives us our best chance. Uh, not ready to announce that yet, um, but we'll be all hands on deck tomorrow. No question about it. Uh, you're going to have a lot of guys in that dugout that want to be a part of it and, and contribute. So it'll be all hands on deck. What did you see out of Cody today? I think he has a .680 ERA over his last four starts. Just can you describe what he's done over the last, I guess, month? Yeah, real proud of him. He's, he's matured. He's become a competitor um, as this season has worn on. Early in the season, you know, I think he was trying to find his way. Um, and about halfway through, he did. And he, he found that confidence. He found that poise that you need to win big games. And he's been our best guy here down the stretch. Um, real impressed with him, real happy for him. Uh, and he's, this is last week against East Carolina. He gave us that kind of outing in the regional and did the same thing today. So very happy for that kid. Bob? Yeah, Coach, like I asked the players, the Arkansas is 33 and 4 at this ballpark. You guys have beaten them twice. Um, what do you think that says about your team, and how good do you feel about you know tomorrow's matchup? Well, we we just focus on playing great baseball. It doesn't matter if it's in Hoover, it doesn't matter if it's in Founders Park, it doesn't matter if it's here. We show up to a ballpark just to play the best baseball we can. And regardless of stats, uh, whoever plays the best on that day is who wins the games. And so I don't think we're going to be distracted by stats, past, future predictions. We're just we just show up to play great baseball. Scotty. 
Hey, Coach, the, the magnitude of LT's Grand Slam, and did it allow you guys to breathe a little bit? Yeah, it sure did. Um, I think that was the – did that get us uh, the first four or the last four? I'm not sure. But, it, it yeah, it got, us, it got us a little breathing room there and, and then allowed us to, to try to manipulate how we wanted to use our bullpen. Um, and so, obviously, we needed those runs because they started to, to scratch back. They scored four runs in the last uh, four innings. So uh, that, was, that was a huge blow. And you wanted to use that to kind of manipulate your bullpen. What was the decision making to pull Cody on 89 and, and get your bullpen going right yeah, there? Yeah, I mean, at that point, he had, he had stayed in the dugout for a long time. Um, and he was at 89 pitches. We weren't going to throw him you know, much past 100 anyway. So to throw him out there for 11 pitches and then potentially uh, you know, have him maybe not quite be as, as sharp because it was a hot day, because he was close to his pitch limit, because he had been in the dugout for about 20 minutes because of the five-run inning, we just thought we wanted to give our bullpen a nice clean inning there because that's, that's when they tend to do their best. And uh, Graham wasn't quite as sharp as he normally is today, um, but Sawyer picked him up. Graham has picked up us, us up many times. So to me, me, that's just what, what this team is. It's you know, one guy doesn't quite have it, the next guy picks him up, and then you know tomorrow might be Graham's day. Left. Mark L LT leads the team in RBIs. He's gotten big hit after big hit all year long. What what is it about him that just allows him to step up in those moments like that? Well, he's a gamer. He wants to be there, uh, and he thinks he's really good. And, and he's right. Uh, he's a he's got very good hand eye coordination, and in those big moments, he has the ability to stay calm uh, and just execute what needs to be done. So, just think it's a combination of talent, some want to, and poise in those situations. Back. Coach, you mentioned last night that you weren't worried at all about this team fighting back in this game. But what impressed you most about your team's performance and their attitude in this ball game? We're just the same team every day. That's what impresses me. You know, they've they've realized that this is a marathon, and we've had some bumps in the road. Um, but the one thing you can control is do you come out and just give it everything you got? And I knew that would be the case today. Whether we won or lost today, I knew that would be the case because I know this team. I know the kids on this team. I know that they have bought in to, to maximizing their abilities. So that's why I had no worries coming into today. Left. Justin today, and I guess how nice was it to see those, those hits fall pretty early for, for him? Yeah, Justin, two for three, two runs, two RBIs, two walks. I mean, <laughs> it's about as good as it gets. Um, Made a couple unnecessary throws that he'll learn from, um, but you know that's you know, we won today. He was a big part of that. You made a couple of changes to your lineup today. What did you see out of Chris at first, and what kind of prompted prompted putting Noah back in there and, and Chris at first base? Well, right-handed right hitters hit Murphy 60 points better than lefties. So to me, it was trading two left-handed bats for two right-handed bats. Um, Noah took some good swings today, and Chris took some good swings today. They didn't have much to show for it. Um, but at this point in the season, you just need to you need to play the percentages. You need to give yourself the best chance to win, um, and every little piece might be the difference. And so, you know, we'll evaluate tomorrow. Do we want to get the lefties back? in there. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, we, we need to try to create as many runs as we can. And then if we take a lead, then we need to have our best defense on the field. And Sawyer doesn't usually go that long. What did you see out of him today, especially the deeper he got into it? Yeah, he was throwing strikes. And, and to me, we, we had to put a premium on throwing strikes at that point. You couldn't, you know, this series has been the definition of if you if you walk guys, you get hurt. And so yesterday, that it was our turn to walk guys today. They did it. Uh, so we just needed to have what we thought was our best strike thrower out there today. And Sawyer, Sawyer was pounding the strike zone. So we just, we, we wanted to make them earn whatever they got. Just didn't want to give them any help. Grant? As willing as he is to take the ball tomorrow, um, how likely is that? Small, small, small likelihood, but you never know. In the back. Coach, um, Justin said that, you know, they're excited for tomorrow's game, but obviously that's not the end goal for you guys. But what does it mean for you to see these guys achieve this point and, and play this winner-take-all game tomorrow? Well, I'm excited because, once again, and I've said this many times, it. It gives, it gives verification to them that if you do work as hard as you can and you leave it all out there and you make sacrifices, that great things can happen individually and as part of a team. So to me, this just justifies everything we've worked on, that if, if you do everything you possibly can, great things can happen. Matt. Casey Murphy, when you were here earlier this year, almost through a perfect game, then you got to him in the fifth inning in Hoover, and today you were able to get him out kind of early. Was there a benefit to seeing a pitcher that many times, and, and did you think that played a factor today? Sure, 
Sure. I mean, the more familiar you become with somebody, the more you know how they're going to attack you, the more you know what they're going to do with two strikes, the more you know what they'll do with runners in scoring position. So that guy's really good. Um, but the more you see a guy, obviously, you get a little bit more comfortable. So yeah, I think that was a key.